Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Tilly Taro, and in today's video we're going to be talking about being psychic and dealing with being psychic. And we are also going to cover grounding, protection, cleansing the clairs from Claire sentience, clear audience, and all of the above. And we are also going to be covering some signs of being psychic. So let's get into the video. Okay, so what are some signs of being psychic while well, you're interested in spirituality? So things from tarot cards, um, maybe even meditation for some. And another sign of um, being psychic is that you may have odd illnesses, you may have healing abilities, you may see auras, you may have weird dreams. For me, this um, manifests in having a dream. I'm pretty sure they call them prophetic dreams. And then living out that dream um you may have you may have emotions that go up and down and you may also need alone time if you have any of these you may be dealing being psychic or psychic and the list goes on and on i do recommend you to do some research so let's do the clairs so what are the clairs they're clairvoyance clairaudience clairsentience and technically the list goes on and on but these are mostly how the psychic gets their information through their senses so i'm going to talk about clairvoyance what is clairvoyance this is psychic sight so this may manifest in daydreaming very vivid dreams also and also um being elsewhere and seeing things as a movie um for my, me this manifest in almost not being in the physical and being somewhere else looking at the physical the next one i'm going to talk about is clairsentience this is the ability to feel psychic feeling so you may feel other people's emotions you may feel spirits presence here also when you feel the presence of other people it's almost like there's someone standing there but it's almost like no one's standing there if that makes sense and you may also feel soreness of others so in the next bit we're going to be talking about clay cognitors this is psychic knowing the way the best way i can describe this is having a thought that isn't your own the thought just comes to you and it resonates this may be through a message a quote a song or anything that may resonate with you you so now we're going to talk about clear audience this is psychic hearing i know i mentioned a thought that is not yours in psychic knowing this one actually does come into this one but you can just hear spirit you can hear them talk to you you might even hear them down the hallway but yeah i haven't really had this one but i tried to do my research so there you go the next one is clear adolescence this is psychic smelling so this is smelling something that may have resonance with the place i haven't had this one but um with the place and with everything around you and it has resonance with whoever you're reading for or yourself next on my list is claire cognances apologies it's actually i pronounced it wrong or i either read my notes wrong but it's claire gustance which is psychic taste so this is psychic taste. I haven't done this, I haven't had this, but I have done some research and I got tasting something that isn't there. I think I may have had this when I was knowing I was going to have Subway and I just got a taste in my mouth. Yeah, very odd, very strange, but I haven't really had this one, so yes. And last but not least of the Claire, we have Claire Tangidence. I hope I pronounced that right. That's cool. Psychic touch or feeling. So being able to pick up something and read the information of that and knowing where it's been, where it's made from. So psychic touch and feeling can also be known as psychometry. Back to the video. Those are our psychic clairs and psychic senses. Now that we've talked about the Claire's, Claire Sentience, Claire Audience, Claire Cognitance, we are now going to talk about grounding, protection, and cleansing. First off, we're going to talk about grounding. So what is the definition of grounding? The definition of grounding is just technically using the earth to come back to the present and to release excess energy. And this can also include emotions too. 
So why ground? Why why do we do the grounding? Well, it technically someone could be stressed, someone could be triggered, someone could be overwhelmed, you may be clumsy, you may be drained, and you may also feel rushed. Also. So how do you ground? Simple. You can eat ground foods, root foods, you can even go outside and walk barefoot on the ground. Exercise using HZ music is great. You can also use colours such as red and brown and you can also use scents to help you ground also. These include cedar, sandalwood, rosewood. You can also use stones such as black tourmaline. Another simple way to help you ground is to take note of the 3D and what's around you. Another simple thing is to also see yourself as a tree. What is cleansing? Cleansing is the act of removing negative energy. But if you do use sage, that is like a bleach. So it will remove everything from good to bad, including good and bad spirits, etc, etc. So how does one cleanse? Well, they may cleanse by using selenite. They might cleanse by incense, cleaning, salt is good for cleansing, moonlight, sun, shower, bath. You may also visualize yourself being cleansed and this is a good way to cleanse yourself. Essentially, you might use floral water, cleansing using sound, HZ including bowels which is also good you might also cleanse by rice so what items do you want to cleanse for you want to cleanse yourself your house and any divination tools or like crystals and any tarot cards also including your pendulum so let's talk about protection and why is protection so important when you are a psychic individual well let's start off with the definition of protection protection is essentially protecting oneself from lower vibrational energies and entities so what are some items to protect oneself so one might protect themselves through black crystals such as black tourmaline onyx some may also like to call upon archangel michael for protection you might use amulets i've got an amulet um here you might also like to do intention, chants, and mantras, and also using that HZ energy, which is also good. And you may also, it's good to cleanse your environment of any negative energies. And also visualization also comes good into this. And I'm pretty sure there's white light protection and prayers out there. So where can you purchase these items? You can purchase them at a metaphysical store down the street but please make sure that when you purchase these you are getting them ethically sourced i hope i pronounced that right there oh, and you can also get them from a small business such as etsy for example so if you like this video please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the tiddly tarot and see you next time